bit slow with the cheese and biscuits, were they? Hey. Well, dinner time finished 20 minutes ago. I got waylaid. Waylaid? Look, you're bound to notice eventually, so... Charming. Wrong finger. Where's your... I've sold it. I had no choice. I'd sooner sell it myself than have a bailiff prize it off. Is it really that bad? Um. yeah, but we're getting to grips with things now, tightening our belts. It's fresh go fundamentals all the way. I always thought that was a bit of a mouthful. Oh, not in our house, it's not. Wouldn't feed most of it to a dog. It's fresh goes finest for us. Sensitive to the last. Listen, if everyone who'd been insulted by Norris dropped dead, I'd be up to my knees in corpses in that cabin. No, it's not just him. I, I don't know why I came back. Because this is the nearest place that you've got to a home. Here. Job's night in there. Now, I've got a pen and plenty of money for tea. Thanks, Rita. We might even have a piece of cake. Because oh. an army marches on its stomach, you know. <laughs> I don't know what you're grinning all over your face for. It is Jenny, I presume. Uh, yeah, what's it to you? If you've got to hang around here, at least have the decency to keep a low profile. So, uh, excuse me, is everything all right over no, there? No, no, there's no problem. Yeah, maybe not for you, but Sophie's in bits. And, you know, and this one torment her as if she's not been through enough. You don't even know, Jenny. Don't bother Rita. No! If she's prepared to stand there shouting the odds, you should at least know the whole story. I know all I need to know. Oh, do you? Well, maybe you do and maybe you don't. But at least you can give us five minutes. I can't put into words how it feels to throw soil onto your child's coffin. You think it's some kind of terrible mistake, you know, it has to be. You want to find a place where it isn't true because it can't be true. It's mad, it's upside down. But no matter how hard you search, there's nowhere. There's, there's no escape in it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not after sympathy. None of it excuses what I did. I should have got help long ago when I knew I wasn't coping. How could you? You weren't thinking straight. I'd move heaven and earth to undo the harm I've done to Kevin and Sophie. I know the hurt she's feeling. That look on her face, I wore it myself for long enough. Have you tried having this conversation with her? I won't get this far. I don't blame her. In her eyes, if I'm, if I'm not mad, I must be bad, or vice versa. Will you speak to Sophie? Oh, I don't know. It's oh, awkward. Please, she won't give Jenny the time of day. Not me now. Will you speak to her? Maybe. Well, she'll listen to you. I know she'll listen to you. Hey, it's a terrible burden, especially for someone Sophie's age. You'd be lifting that from her. Do you know, this time last year, me and my dad was at a spa celebrating her 18th. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't be. It's the happiest two days of my life. You know, of all the places she could have gone, I still wonder why she picked her. I suppose Rita's all she's got. Yo, Rita wants red tested. Because after what she's done, I mean... Well, she had been through a lot. I know she's sorry for what happened. Oh, and you think that sorry makes it all okay? No, of course not, but... And how are you so sure she's sorry? She told me. I talked to him this afternoon, her and Rita. Oh, and... <laughs> And then you rang me for a drink. They've put you up to this, haven't they? No, I was going to call you anyway. You're yeah, right. It's true. You know what, Kate? I really thought that me and you was friends. We are. Then why are you doing a dirty work for her? Right, Soph. What? Ask her. 